I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Because trust with me is earned in action. No. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old <laughs> Home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. <laughs> Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? God, again? What do you want, kid? Never mind. Yeah, keep walking. I'd join a motorcycle gang, if I had any friends. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Now, what to draw? Definitely. 
definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. I'm sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. This place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Your boss, your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Delia. Come. Cute dog. Just follow. 
follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? baby 20 bucks that's robbery and don't call me baby fine 20 bucks thief that guy's a dick if i want a shirt i'm going to need to get creative no 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 no, no. look we have to set this up exactly as i'm explaining to you all right it, it's not gonna if you don't have 20 bucks beat it still a dick How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Yo, Frank! Hey! I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so, you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. Never mind, Ben. Uh, suit yourself. She returns. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. I'll see you later. Whatever. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Shit, I'm rich. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong.
Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. She returns. About that weed. Uh, here it comes. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around with this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. Sketch Central. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Much better. That's totally me in five beers. Okay, three. Three hundred dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. Justice has been served. Classy. Don't you judge me, spooky deer head. I'm here for the band. Damn, there are a lot of people here. Here we go. Okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. And hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. The 
I want to see the band, I'll have to find another way. Those guys are trouble.
Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Rowan! Wakey wakey, edgy wakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That. girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. Fun fact, shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Shit, where's my phone? It's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. FM, this is Adrian. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to.
How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Ah, Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Mom's old engagement ring. It's supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. 
Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. We're already supporting one. Thanks. From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. Made that for Mom in an art class when I was, like, five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. 
I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do.
No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, uh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the sock tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. This used to hang in the living room. Guess it's ancient history now. Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he mean himself? Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it... Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. Mom should date literally anyone else. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? 
You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Pot. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, I. It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. My controller's been muted this whole time. Don't know why. This whole time, my controller's been muted. Mission oh my god! That's the entire game plan! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the amount of one-liner jokes I made as well, and they were quite funny. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm I such a dumbass. Oh. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does. This, this isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Oh, I get it. 
So yeah, he did die. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Damage my foot, so I can't go train for a while, but... You know, we move. We move. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Alright, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. Hey, at least that's I thanks. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I said thanks! Stop being so rude about it, big man. Keep chatting, mama, to ruin your haircut even more. Like, who's your barber, bro? Like, why is... Like, <laughs> black hell. Because <laughs> why is it like a cowboy? Like why is like one person like this high and the rest is just all flat in the middle? <laughs> what is that man? <laughs> like his hair is like 12 more inches bigger on his sides than it is in the middle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro got like an afro. Like it started straight afro but it was like, you know what? <laughs> Slice down the middle. <laughs> anyway. Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. That's a fact. This I smell with a bottle. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Sure. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking. Yes. <laughs> do you want to go together tomorrow? Bro, that always went south. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Yeah. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what Just I Just say. Alright, see you in camp. Yeah, for sure. See you, man. Don't even remember your name. <laughs> that like half a conversation you. Don't remember your name. I have you in context. I still I don't remember your name. I to pick up my DVD. I've still got time. I have... <laughs> It's like a anti drug post. What is this? Meh. Well, at least not for now. Okay. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Probably will. Oh well. How could I possibly yes, make sir. It a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Okay. Hey, Seth. <laughs> okay. Pick me tables, pick me tables, pick me tables. We found it. <laughs> hey there, how's it going? <laughs> uh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades. Hey! Oh, Carrie Price! <laughs> it's Chloe. Mm. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me sure. so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't That's crap. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal. Or I won at the Vortex Club. But I can't remember what that was. That. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Uh. Wow. The Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work, and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. 
So the beacon's putting me. You on had a one in a one hundred chance of winning. It's, I mean, it's not that hard, it is. is it really? I mean, it is, but. You hang with the Vortex Club. I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure. The club I... should be a collection of black. I can't remember what it was. Instead, it's some anti-bullying. You'll find on the next one. Find on the next one. Not when I'm a senior. Kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered a man. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. What is, what is up with her? Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she Keep must Keep chatting be and I'm about to make you, you know, go even shorter hairstyle again. To me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right <laughs> now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment and you're being you. Oh. Sabotage her homework. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Sure. Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Wrong name. No are problem. you dumb, bro? You know what? No, you just. Why are you walk like that? Why are you got on the back like? Hang on. I'll, I'll get. I'll get the sound too. So this is. This is why I need a meme soundboard on my phone. They always came in handy back at back in the stair at my streams. But then I started using it for a while. But I, I'm good. I'm. I don't care if it adds like a minute onto my stream, but. Probably won't work because I got no reception or phone. But if it does work, that'd be amazing. And it's not working, so that isn't amazing. But it's okay. <laughs> Good luck, seniors. Sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell. <laughs> oh, I have any CD. What, what the hell? Oh, nice one. What have you got here? Twitch. Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. You're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Yeah, I do. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, damn! Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! What am I meant to do? Step in, the yeah, only way sure. To stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. 
You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? <clears throat> you want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Some bro. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. <laughs> I get the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Get told. Go Samantha. <laughs> get told. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get CD. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Come. Now, let me get the CD. What DVD? The playing Dungeons and Dragons. Very nice. Very nice. I like game. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD? Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Mm, we're not friends. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Can I say yeah. yes? I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. Oh, I want to play. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Yes. Let's play. <laughs> sure. What the hell? Game hey, what's up? Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why is that funny? Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. 
I am Elema, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. <laughs> Toys is a sick name. Humans. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? <laughs> I was made of my kebab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three way cross <laughs> to your left. <laughs> oh, wait, it's all those are go, but okay. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgeron, the unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Palmer's right now. Fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Damn. Oh, nice one. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You want for you to free them. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping <sighs> watch. He notices you and, in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Me puppet. I wiggle my hand. 
Hey, Dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. <laughs> the Dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. The uh, dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's Warlord's tent time. Ten. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Annihilation. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes. Could you get ready for bed at 11 o'clock? Alright guys, I'm in view of here. Elamon's leg. We should finish off this um, and then. Legs. Yeah. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stop. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I say something really encouraging to Elamon. Like what? Yeah? Like what? Shit. Uh, 
Why is being nice so hard? <clears throat> Never, ever give up. Word. <laughs> Elamon feels inspired. He summons the strength necessary to crawl away from Durgaron. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. All right, guys. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. All right, guys, I'm going to be up here. This has been Boy with Pills. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.